All right. We're ready for a new quick video. Everything's been sanitized, my hands, everything. Sprayed in there a few times, just like you saw me do now. These are some new agar cups that I made. I used activated charcoal instead of food coloring. Um, one of my patrons uh, told me about it, and I haven't tried it yet. So this last batch I did with, uh, with the graphite. It's supposed to help against contam, and it's more inert. I mean, you can eat the stuff even. Um, so I made a short little run because I'm going to be doing some egg and transfers later. Um, here are some that I'll probably transfer later on, but I'm going to let them grow a little bit. I just wanted you to see it because they're nice and uh, pretty. Look at that. Such nice growth. Um, and, uh, also notice what I've talked about before. Um, I like to label them around the bottom because you don't touch it that much. You tend to touch it more up here. But if they're, if I'm going to have them long term, I like to also do them down here. So, but here's what it came for. I've talked about this before. Um, people are always asking about condensation. So, what I do is I, as I take them out, I let them cool down completely in the instant pot. If you have a pressure cooker, whatever, I do them in the afternoon or night, um, PC them, and then wait till the next day. I leave them there. I, I don't open the valve. I don't do anything. I just, of course, the um, keep warm is off as always, and I leave them there till next day to cool down um, by themselves. So next day, as I take them out, I, f I uh, leave them like that, tighten them, put them aside. Take another one, tighten it completely, put it aside. Then I leave them there. Okay, so then after maybe like 30 minutes when they're cooled down, I then flip them over. Of course, when I f if I flip them over right when I take them out, it's, uh, this is going to be down here, so we don't want that. So you got to leave them right side up until they're hard. Then flip them upside down as soon as you can. It's usually 20, 30 minutes. So I always do that. These have been in this position upside down for a couple of days now. And they've already uh, lost most of the um, condensation. But if you notice down here, look at that. If you notice down here... Look at that. That's a little pool of water. So what I like to do is get them in here, spray everything down, spray in here also, keep them upside down so this water doesn't, little pool of water doesn't go up here. Then I open them and shake that water off. Tap them a little bit, not a lot. And... Tighten them back up, and now, uh, this one still has a little bit. Let me see if I can shake that off. Now, we want to do this quick. You don't want to leave this open for a long time. And tighten it back up tight. See, now, we hardly have any water in there. You're probably not going to be able to get all of it out. And I put it on top of my... Still air box. Now this is alcohol, but down here, as you can see, got that little, some of them have a bigger little pool of water than others. It's right here. Hope the camera can pick that up. I don't want to tilt it back, so because I don't want this water to hit the agar. So you can do this while it's closed. Then shake it off. Ah. You don't want to do that. You don't want to drop it like I just did. And this has been sprayed with alcohol a lot. So now this one's pretty dry. 
how we keep going. Tap it down a bit. Open. I put them at an at an angle like this and like that. At an angle and hit it. Close it back up, always facing down because we know that spores and stuff fall from the top down. Just like this alcohol cloud is, is going down, that's how everything goes. So we look at it again. And look, it's, it's really clear. Now, in the next day, two, three days from now, it's going to even clear up even more. This one. Oh, here's the other thing. Um, one thing I'm going to start doing now is when I put them in the pressure cooker and stack them like that, the the ones at the bottom that are right on the, the little grid, metal grid with the water, the water's right up to the grid, these tend to get a lot more condensation, of course, because the water's bubbling and it's hitting them. So what I'm going to do from now on is I'm going to put the first layer are going to be empty. And then I'm going to put the other ones on top. So the empty ones are going to get more full of water. And from the second layer on, I see a big difference. The, the only ones that have a lot of condensation are the bottom ones. So again, I'm going, to, I'm going to use empty cups in the bottom and fill them up with the, with the, with the ones on top. Um, see, see, this is one of the bottom ones that has a lot of condensation in there. And... It tends to stick on this. No matter how much I do that, it sticks. Um, they still work. They're okay. And I'm not going to clean that with a paper towel or alcohol or any of that crap because that would most certainly contaminate. You don't want that. I'm already risking it a little bit by doing this, opening them and shaking them. But even with that, I have very good... Uh, results as you've seen in my videos and we do that close it up see that the droplets at the top tend to stay there um that's okay tighten them up nice i keep those separate group separate see this one's real nice this one probably doesn't even have yeah it has a little bit of water down here you may be able to see it. Um, we'll see how the charcoal, activated charcoal works out. It's supposed to help. And I like the blue better. I had stopped using the food coloring altogether just in case because it's just another additive that can bring you trouble maybe. And uh, so I decided to stop doing it. But for the videos, I used the blue. Because the mycelium shows way better when I show transfers and growth and all that stuff. And uh, it's they look more gray than black. I think uh, I think next time I'll add just a tiny bit more. I didn't weigh it or anything. I just eyeballed it. Um, we'll see how the growth uh, happens on these. And... Uh, That's what I do. I've shown this before, but it gets buried in other videos. Um, and uh, I wanted to do this real quick video. It doesn't hurt to show it again. Look how nice this is. Um, I, I have really clean uh, agar at the end. And you can see that here. Look at how clean and clear this uh, dish is. Um, It's really nice. I, I re, I'm really digging this this system of uh, of agar. I'm really really liking it. Uh, I reuse these all the time. I've been reusing them for a while. So uh, this is great. I uh, hope this helps.